Think you need a big yard to grow your own garden? Think again. Welcome to the world of balcony gardening. In this urban jungle we live in, space is a luxury, and a garden seems like a distant dream. But what if we told you that the tiny balcony in your apartment can be transformed into a lush green sanctuary? Yes, you heard it right. Balcony gardening is a real thing and it's been gaining traction amongst urban dwellers. It's not just about adding aesthetic value to your home, but it's also about creating a personal space that promotes relaxation and mental well-being. In this video, we will introduce you to the concept of balcony gardening, its myriad benefits and some clever techniques to maximize your small space. From choosing the right plants and containers to learning about watering and fertilization, we've got you covered. Ready to transform your balcony into a lush green sanctuary? Let's dive in. First, let's take your gardening skills to new heights with vertical gardening. Vertical gardening is a fantastic way to maximize the limited space of your balcony. So how can you do this? Let's explore some methods. One of the simplest and most popular vertical gardening techniques is using hanging planters. These are plant pots with ropes or chains attached, allowing you to suspend them from hooks or rails. This not only creates a visually appealing cascade of greenery, but also leaves your balcony floor free for other uses. Another effective technique is wall-mounted shelves. These are like bookshelves for your plants. You can arrange a variety of small pots on these shelves, creating a living wall of green. It's a great way to showcase your plant collection without cluttering your balcony floor. If you're keen on growing climbing plants or vines, trellises are the way to go. These lattice-like structures provide support for your plants to grow upwards, creating a green curtain that can also serve as a privacy screen. Now you might be wondering, can I mix these techniques? Absolutely. In fact, combining hanging planters, shelves, and trellises can create a visually stunning and diverse vertical garden. Just remember, each plant's needs should guide your choice of technique. For instance, a trailing ivy might love a trellis, but your succulents would be happier on a shelf. Also, don't forget about the weight. Make sure your balcony can safely support your vertical garden. If you're unsure, it's best to consult with a professional. Lastly, consider the accessibility. Your vertical garden should be easy to maintain. Can you comfortably water and prune your plants? If the answer is yes, then you're on the right track. With these techniques, you can grow upwards and save valuable floor space. So, are you ready to reach new heights with your balcony garden? Let's continue this green journey together. Next up, let's discuss containers, an essential element in balcony gardening. Picture this, a balcony bursting with greenery, a riot of colors and a symphony of scents. Now imagine the secret to achieving this lies not just in the plants you choose, but in the containers you pot them in. Yes, that's right. Your choice of container can be a game changer in your balcony garden adventure. Let's start with the basics. The prime function of a container is to hold the plant, but it goes beyond that. It provides the much needed support and houses the roots, while also playing a crucial role in moisture maintenance. Therefore, it's essential to choose a container that caters to the needs of your plant. For instance, succulents require shallow pots with good drainage, while larger plants need deeper pots to accommodate their root systems. But it's not just about function, it's about aesthetics too. Balcony gardening is as much about creating an appealing visual space as it is about cultivation. So don't shy away from experimenting with different materials, colors, and shapes. You might go for a rustic look with terracotta pots, or perhaps a sleek modern vibe with metallic containers. Remember, your container is your canvas and you are the artist. Once you've chosen your containers, the next step is arrangement. Here's where you can let your creativity shine. Think vertical and use the height to your advantage. Stack pots, hang baskets, or mount boxes on the walls. Mix it up with different levels and depths to create a dynamic visual impact. You could arrange plants with similar care needs together, making watering and maintenance easier, or group them by color or type for a thematic display. Whatever your approach, the goal is to optimize space without compromising on the beauty of your balcony garden. In the end, remember that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one balcony garden might not work for another. It's all about understanding your space, your plants, and your personal style. Remember, the right container can make all the difference. Now that we've got our containers ready, it's time to pick our plants. Let's start with the basics. Understanding your balcony's sun exposure. Does it bask in full sun most of the day, 
or is it tucked away in a shady spot? The direction your balcony faces and the amount of direct sunlight it receives will significantly influence the types of plants that will thrive in your garden. For those with sun-drenched balconies, succulents are a perfect choice. These hardy plants love the sun and are an excellent way to add a touch of the desert to your urban oasis. Varieties such as jade plant, aloe vera, and echeveria come in different shapes and colors, offering a delightful array of options to choose from. In contrast, if your balcony is more shaded, fear not. Many plants love these conditions. Ferns, for instance, are shade-loving plants that can create an enchanting forest-like feel on your balcony. Spider plants and English ivy are also great options that can thrive in low-light conditions. It's also important to remember that some plants are more forgiving than others when it comes to varying light conditions. Herbs are a great example. Basil, rosemary, thyme, and chives are all hardy herbs that can adapt to a range of light conditions. Plus, they have the added benefit of being useful in the kitchen, making your balcony garden not only beautiful but practical too. But what if your balcony is a mix of sun and shade, or the light conditions change with the seasons? Well, the answer is to embrace a mix of plants. This way, you can ensure that some plants will always be thriving, regardless of the changing light conditions. And don't worry, a diverse plant collection also makes your balcony garden more visually appealing. Remember, plants are living beings and they have their preferences. It's essential to consider their needs when selecting them. After all, a happy plant means a happy gardener, right? Choosing the right plants for your balcony is half the battle won. So take your time, do your research, and select plants that will love your balcony as much as you do. Plants need nutrition just like us. Let's talk about watering and fertilization. One of the most important aspects of balcony gardening is maintaining the perfect moisture balance. Overwatering and underwatering can both lead to unhappy, unhealthy plants. The golden rule here is to water when the top inch of the soil is dry. This can be tested simply by sticking your finger in the soil. If it feels dry, it's time to water. If it's wet, hold off a little longer. Remember, different plants have different water needs, so it's crucial to understand your plant's individual requirements. Succulents and cacti, for example, prefer their soil to be completely dry before the next watering, while ferns and certain herbs prefer consistently moist soil. Now let's talk about self-watering systems. These can be a lifesaver for the busy urban gardener or for those who travel frequently. Self-watering planters have a reservoir at the bottom that holds water. The soil wicks up the water as the plant needs it, ensuring a steady supply of moisture. They can be a great investment for your balcony garden. Moving on to fertilization. Just like us, plants need food to grow. But instead of pizza and ice cream, they prefer a balanced diet of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You can find these nutrients in most commercial plant fertilizers. But if you want to go organic, there are plenty of natural options. Compost is a fantastic, nutrient-rich soil amendment that can be added directly to your plant's potting mix. If you have a small compost bin on your balcony, you're already one step ahead. You can also use worm castings, which are packed with beneficial microbes, or even a seaweed or fish emulsion. Just remember, more is not always better when it comes to fertilizing. Too much fertilizer can harm your plants so always follow the package instructions. And like watering, different plants have different fertilizer needs, so do a little research to find out what your plants prefer. Proper watering and fertilization are key to a thriving balcony garden. Finally, let's discuss how to adapt your garden with the changing seasons. It's crucial to understand that plants, like us, respond to the rhythm of the seasons. As the cold months approach, it's important to take protective measures. Some plants may need to be brought indoors or given extra cover to protect from frost. Additionally, consider using mulch to insulate your plants and keep their roots cozy. As the seasons shift, so should your plant care. As we transition into warmer months, some of your spring bloomers may need to be swapped out for heat-tolerant plants. Consider using plants that love to bask in the sun and can handle the heat. Remember, seasonal changes also affect watering and fertilization schedules. In the hotter months, your plants will need more water and nutrients, so be sure to adjust accordingly. With these tips, your balcony garden will thrive all year round.